All right, just in case you wanna see a little bit of what we're working with. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna to try to pare down today. It is time for a brush declutter. I am ready to simplify my stash a little bit. I have been lucky enough to not only be in a position to be able to purchase some nice brushes this year, but I have also been sent a decent amount of brushes this year. And you know, brushes is one of those things that if you take care of them, they will last you a long time. So it's not something that, you know, you use up usually. So I just keep getting more and more. So it is time to go through these, keep my favorites, keep some of the things that I wanna have on standby and get rid of the things that maybe have just served their purpose for me. I would say that I am a somewhat picky brush person and I just find that I have some brushes that I just have because I have them and I don't want that anymore because I will be honest, I want less brushes because it's going to make me clean my brushes more often instead of just grabbing a new fresh brush and I just want more space. So that's gonna be what we're doing today. So that being said, I don't necessarily have a goal today of I want to get rid of X brushes or X percent of brushes. I really just want to be honest with myself in keeping the ones that I know that I love, the ones that I know that I'll grab a lot and get rid of the ones that I can pass along to someone else. Maybe people in my life who don't have as many brushes that they really haven't had an option to try a lot of different brushes. And I'm just, I'm just ready to have a little bit less overwhelm and a little more space. And today I actually plan on doing a few declutter videos. Today is declutter day. It's the vibe for today. I'm super excited. So I am ready to dive right into this. I don't wanna keep this intro too long because we got a lot of brushes to go through here. <laughs> But if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos, including more declutter videos because today is all about the declutter. I plan on filming several today. It's just the vibe and I'm very excited. So let's get into this one. I did put a towel down mostly just so we don't have a lot of clanking and banging around because that would probably get really annoying for all of you. I do over here have some brushes set aside that I actually, you know, I knew that I was going to be doing this declutter. So as I've been grabbing things, I'm like, mm, I don't need this in my life. I've just been sort of like putting them to the side. So I'm gonna share those with you really quickly. These are the face ones. Let me see if I can just grab a few. Uh, this crown fan brush, I just don't use a brush like this. When I did use this, it was mostly for like body bronzing or something like that, just to really quickly throw on product, but I just don't reach for it enough to really keep it. Uh, I actually, this is one of them and I probably have another in my collection that I'm beginning rid of. These It Cosmetics brushes, honestly, I just, I just don't find that I love these brushes. I'm gonna grab a few more here that I can see. Um, boy, some of these might have been purchased. Some of them might have been, you know, free gifts with purchase from Ulta. Uh, an angled face brush is just not something that I use a lot. And as far as this brush here, first of all, a big powder brush like this, I don't need a lot of, and I can already see another one of these over in my brush cup over here. So I was probably like, why do I have multiples of these? I don't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Same thing for this Luxie brush because of the same reason. I just I just don't need such a big brush. Uh, also probably the same for this Real Techniques. And let's see, what else do we have here? This random Baddington, this was definitely like a BoxyCharm brush. I have this little Mac brush and it is so cute. I love it. I mean, look at this like packaging, this handle on here. The thing is, is I hate short handles. I just do not like it. I don't have anywhere to store them that I'm like, oh, I see that brush there. They get lost in my cups. And so I'm just, I'm just going to get rid of that one. I am, by the way, going to be going through some of these pretty quickly just because we have a lot of brushes to get through and I don't need to sit on this for a long time. Uh, the e.l.f. domed stipple brush, just, just not a need. And a couple of these, like, honestly, I mean, the packaging was super cute. These are actually pretty high quality. These were just a random, like, Walgreens purchase. I just thought that the handles with the little, like, orange beads in it were cute, but not not a need. Definitely not a need. What are some of these others? I have a few more Luxie brushes. Um, again, it's just like, a, I, I just don't need these. A brush like this, I do not use a flat paddle shape. Hopefully you're able to see that here. There we go. Uh, this is just not something, it's not a shape that I use like ever. So I'm getting rid of that. A couple more brushes here. Oh, this is another one of those Baddington brushes. Uh, let's see here. I've got another like flat. This is from the Spectrum and Katie Jane Hughes set. A flat brush like this, I just never use it. Again, did anybody else get this brush? The Sephora VIB Rouge brush. Uh, I just, it's a small brush. It's a small brush and I don't need it. Okay, so 
I really quick before we move on, I want to talk about this because you're all going to be pretty surprised, I think, to see this brush in here. This is the BK Beauty 101. Here is the thing, and this one actually is not quite as bad, but I have just noticed that my BK Beauty 101 brushes have just gotten kind of extra floppy. I think that they changed the design over time, and truth be told, I just prefer the smaller one that is a similar shape. And why can't I think of it? We'll, we'll see it when we get into it, but um, this is just so big. This was my favorite foundation brush for quite a while. It is still a nice brush. I just have found other brushes that I prefer and it isn't something that I need. And I, I don't know, there's just something about this brush that I don't love as much. So I'm probably gonna pass this along. I have several of these, so I might just keep one and then pass along a couple others. So I think this was probably one of my newer ones, which is why I'm just going to pass it along. So here are a few of the ones that I just had already set aside and I'm going to be very happy to send along to a new home. Honestly, I'm I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do with all these brushes. Uh, I will probably just gift a lot of them to people I know. I might consider doing a couple bundles on Mercari. I really haven't decided yet, but either way, they will not be staying here. So for the rest of my brushes, I think what I'm gonna do is just go by kind of like by size or by what I would probably end up using them for. I'm gonna slide this one in here uh, because that's like to me, it's really about the size, the shape, something kind of similar. It doesn't matter to me what it's originally intended to be used for, it's what I end up using it for. So I think we'll just go by size. So let's start this off. If you are new to my channel, just know that I am not really team big brush. I am a control freak. <laughs> And I prefer a small brush for really accurate placement. The only time I want a big brush is when I want a very diffused, soft look, maybe like a really light dusting of powder. But even that, sometimes I just want a small, like very airy brush, but I just want to put it in a couple spots. So probably a lot of these are going to be going. Uh, this darn, you know, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too. I have been using this one, so obviously I'll have to wash it up. So this is the Complexion Powder Brush. This one I think was like in collaboration with Ulta. Yeah, it says it brushes for Ulta. So I don't know, it's just, I have tried a lot of synthetic fibers at this point and the it brushes are just not my tippy top fave. They're nice, but I just, I just don't need this brush. So we're getting rid of it. Okay, this is a Moda brush. Honestly, this one is actually really nice. I do find that I use this one a decent amount, but again, it's a shorter handle and I just don't prefer shorter handles. I want long handles. I think there's something to makeup artistry where you just get used to having longer handles and the balance that that provides. And it's just what I usually prefer. So I think I'm gonna pass this along. Okay, so as far as the others, these two here, I loved this brush. I, I don't know if I've just gotten more picky or that these brushes just aren't as soft as they were at one point. These are both from Fenty Beauty. They're the same exact brush. I got one to try, loved it, and ended up getting another. These are the 170 setting brush. I don't even know if Fenty makes these anymore, but this one is kind of stained. I just, I don't know. There's something about this. It's like they're almost too dense for what I prefer, a big fluffy brush. If I'm keeping a big fluffy brush, I want it to be really light and airy so that it can just sweep onto the skin. So I think, I think I'm gonna pass these along too. Okay, so the two that I have that are actually a little bit like less dense are the BK Beauty 104. This is a really nice shape. I'm gonna keep this one around. I am also going to keep the Sydney Grace. When I got this brush, they weren't putting the names on the handles, but I think that they are doing that now. But this is again, a nice soft one and see how it's just, it's just got a little wobble to it. I need a little wobble. Uh, this one really doesn't have any wobble to it, but I have found that I've been using this more and this is, like a little bit smaller version of the Moda. They're pretty close to each other and it's got a little bit longer handle and it's a little smaller. I think that this is gonna be a good option to keep. Uh, by the way, some of these, if there's a brush that I know for sure I was gifted, I will let you know. I have a feeling that one of the BK Beauty was probably gifted at one point. Um, when I first became an affiliate, they sent me one of each of their brushes, but I have definitely bought quite a few brushes before that as well. Okay, another Moda brush. You know, this is a decent brush, but it's, it's the stubby handle for me. It's pretty, but I think someone else could get better use out of it. Okay, this is more of like a mid-size brush, but the Wayne Goss One Brush from the Edit Collection. Uh, 
uh, some of these, I mean, this is a nice brush. It's not my favorite brush, but it is obviously quite a bit smaller. You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to set this aside for some of the mid size brushes and we will go from there. So we're keeping, well, four at the moment, potentially and getting rid of these ones. I think that's really good. I, I just don't need all these big brushes. Okay, this is gonna start getting hard with shapes, so I'm just doing the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna have to be good enough. Okay, right away, I see this real techniques. Obviously, I think you could use this, what is what do they call this? The blurring foundation brush. You could use this for foundation or even for a wash of cream blush, cream bronzer. It's just not something I need. So I am going to be getting rid of this one. I'm trying to see if there's anything right away. Ah, this one. See, I'm just getting rid of all the real techniques. These are just so densely packed and I just don't find that I use them a lot. So the buffing mineral powder brush, We'll set that one aside. Uh, my Real Techniques brushes, I think, honestly, I'm just gonna be getting rid of all of them. They are nice brushes. Like I have used the eye brushes a lot. It's a great synthetic to have for cream shadows, for concealer, you know, you can really scrub a dub them pretty well. And eventually once they get splayed, they're pretty inexpensive to repurchase. However, I hate this rubberized spot. I, I can see why people like it, but for me, I have a few that have just gotten kind of like tacky over time and I I just don't love that. So I'm going to be getting rid of this. It's a pretty one though. So by the way, that is the contour brush. Okay, uh, let's start with these because I see that I have all of these. They're, I think it must be tapered highlighter, tapered highlighter, tapered highlighter, tapered highlighter. Yeah, these are all <laughs> the Lexi tapered highlighter. I mean, first of all, I would never use this for highlighter like this. No, this is a blush brush to me. I mean, do I need all four of these? It's interesting though, because I feel like this one is a lot smaller than these others. I think what I'll do is I will just maybe keep two of these. I'm gonna set them aside for now and we'll see how this ends up as I'm going through. Uh, I do really like these for cream blush. Are they like luxe on the skin? No, are they decent brushes? Absolutely. Of course, I like the aesthetic of them and I, I really enjoyed Lexi brushes. I think that they're pretty nice. So I'm gonna set these to the side. And again, since I really like to get in there and really scrub my cream products out, a synthetic is nice because I can just manhandle it a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set these ones to the side and we'll see about those Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on up the street, <laughs> but it sounds like chaos. I hope that you're not hearing that. If you are, I apologize, but uh, I will set those ones to the side and we'll see as we go through here. So since these are somewhat similar in size, why don't I pull these ones out here? We have a Sonia Kashuk, this BK Beauty 106, and oh my gosh, this Jane Iredell. Y'all, <laughs> I got this when I first started doing hair and makeup. So that would be uh, 1999. I must have gotten it in either 99 or 2000. The salon that I worked at, we used Jane Iredale and we sold it. And this is what we used when we worked on our clients. Oh my gosh, this is this. And it is still, see, this is what I'm saying. If you get a high quality brush, they will last you forever. I do believe that this is squirrel hair. It's been so, so, so long, but I do believe that this was squirrel. I mean, I'm tempted to keep it because it's so nice. Is it one that I grab for a lot? No, I'm gonna set it to the side for now. It's almost more like nostalgia than anything. Uh, the other one, I'm gonna keep the BK Beauty 106. I do think out of all of my like slightly more dense buffing brushes, I do enjoy this one. This Sonia Kashuk, is it a need? No, do I use it quite a bit? Yes. Okay, let's set this to the side. I just wear so much cream blush that I sort of, that's like one of the shapes that I will wear more of. But as I'm looking around here, I also need to look at what I have otherwise. So we're just gonna set those over there for now. All right, let's see here. Uh, we have another Wayne Goss edit. This is the number two. This one does feel really nice. And this is a shape that I do enjoy. <sighs> Wayne's edit collection is probably like my least favorite of all that he's done, but this brush is honestly really nice. So, okay, this is gonna be set to the side. Ugh, anything that can be used for blush is probably gonna be one that I have a hard time giving up. I know that I'm keeping the number 10 
and this one I just purchased. This is from the new collection. This is the F2, so we will keep that one. I think that this is the one that I got by accident, but I have actually been really enjoying it. All right, these ones here, are these all 110s? No, we have a 108, the 110, and okay, so we have two 108s. So here is one of those times that, while I don't use the 110 much, I believe this is the one that Lisa claims to be sort of like a brush and a beauty sponge, kind of like had a baby. This is just not, it's just not something that I will use a lot of. However, I do like having it around to be able to compare because as you know, the brand launches other brushes, it's nice to have for those of you that do like this one. So I might just keep this. I'm sure that the brand gifted me one of these of each of these. I know that I've bought some 108s before though. So I'm just gonna keep these. I still have just not found, like for me, if anything, what I would use this brush for is, you know, it's fairly firm. So to be able to like buff in a very controlled contour or bronzer, maybe just to like sculpt the face, but I definitely don't use it for powder. Like definitely not. Okay, so let's see, let's keep going. We'll, we'll move into these bigger, bigger guys here. So we have the Goss 01 brush from the Edit Collection. don't use this one a lot, but I feel like it's been a while and it is a nice mid-size shape. Okay, let's set this one up. We're not doing so well. We're not doing so well here. This brush, the KJH01. So the thing about this brush is I like the shape, but the brush itself is quite weighty and the bristles are very soft, but you know, more on that dense side. And I'm like, I mean, for bronzer maybe? This, that's about what I would use this for, is for bronzer. Okay, let's set this one to the side. Wow, this is happening a lot. Okay, here's one that I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush. I've had this one for quite a while. These were actually pretty nice brushes, but it's just not one that I need anymore. I mean, like, I've worn away all of the writing on it. Now, here is one of my newest brushes in my collection. This is the BK and Nikki LaRose N15. This is a really great multitasking brush. I'm definitely keeping this one. Okay, the Wayne Goss 10 brush. I think I got this in a Beautylish Lucky Bag because I would not have gotten this shape for myself. Like a stippling brush I love, but a stippling brush this big, I don't know. I mean, most likely no. I'm just like, again, it's just not something that I reach for a lot. And when I got it, I was like, oh yay, a Wayne Goss brush. But I was like, wow, I probably could have used any other shape more than this. So. I might, I might get rid of this one. I'm gonna put this one over here. Oh, okay, uh, I am gonna talk about three that I think I am gonna get rid of. So this again was another one of those Sephora Rouge gifts, but these, these are the Sonia Kashuk uh, Mini Base and Classic Face. I do not remember the name of the collection. This was this little mini travel set with the eye brushes. Honestly, I think that I just want to find the eye brushes in my collection and just sell this as a set. I regret buying the little travel set. I just don't need a little small handled set. I don't know what I was thinking. I, this was absolutely a hype purchase for me. I really enjoy Sonia's brushes. She does a beautiful job, but these just get lost in my brushes and I'm just not using them enough. So I think I will probably end up selling these to someone who could really utilize a small travel set. So I'm gonna set those to the side. Okay, what didn't we go through here? These ones. All right, so this is a double-sided brush from the mascara brand, which has now uh, been turned into Saint. Uh, the thing is, is I will never use this double-sided. I hate this side over here anyway. Um, but this blush brush, I do use quite a bit, but do I need it? No. Mm, I do like that it's long handled though. I do like that. <sighs> Do I have another shape that is kind of simpler? You know what, I'm just gonna keep this one for right now. It is nice, I do actually use it quite a bit. Um, if I am at some point get another similar shape, I might just end up getting rid of this one, but I do actually grab for this one quite a bit. Okay, this Sigma Spotlight Duster Brush. Again, this is a really nice shape. It, I really like that little wobble that it has. This is perfect for like under eye powder or anytime I wanna whisk a powder on, but have it be fairly lightweight. It also does work to kind of like blur on the skin. So I am going to keep this one. I don't really have that many Sigma brushes in my collection anymore, but this is one I'm gonna stick with. 
Okay, let's move into these sort of more like angled brushes. I have two of the Angie 507. This one is from the travel set and this is from the full size. These were both gifted by the brand to me. Uh, this is a brush shape that I wouldn't normally reach for a lot, but on a day where I just want a dusting of bronzer to really warm up the skin, this is too big for a blush for me, which is why you can see that they've both been used for bronzer. So I'm struggling to decide if I want to keep both of these or if I want to just give the travel size to someone. I mean, I'm grateful that the brand sent the travel set to me, but since I do have the full size set and actually, did I buy the full size set? I might have bought the full size set and gotten sent the travel. Honestly, I do not remember, but I did <laughs> reviews of both when they came in. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set the travel to the side. I keep talking about how I don't like short handles, so I'm gonna stay true to my my loves. Uh, here is another Jane Iredale brush. This was actually sent to me uh, when I tried out their foundation. So this is the blending and contouring brush. Again, this is one that it's like. It's not one, this is like one of those brushes that I grab for when my other brushes are dirty. This is the one that I'm like, oh, I guess I can just use this one, which is probably not a good reason to keep it. So I'm gonna set it to the side. So since we've been working with synthetics recently, let's keep going with that. I have the Luxie Large Angled Face. Luxie, you must be like me. And if you consider this a large brush, that's hilarious. I hope you guys have been able to see this, by the way, maybe I should have been moving everything. Uh, I do like this one. I do really like this one. And I feel like I'm getting rid of a decent amount of my angled brushes. Oh, and you know what? While we're working on like angled shapes, I'm gonna pull this one in as well. And actually this one. All right, we're just all over the place here, but <laughs> this is the BK 112. I really like this brush. I know that I have another one somewhere. I know that I have another one somewhere. So we'll find that at some point, <laughs> but I'll be keeping this. Okay. so. This brush is honestly pretty nice. I really liked the design of these ones. I mean, it's a shame that this is kind of coming off and it does have a little bit of that rubbery feel, but it doesn't get weird like the Real Techniques ones do, at least not in my not in my experience. So then I have two of the Spectrum brushes. We have the 04 and the 05. Obviously the difference here is the 04 is stippled and the 05 is not. I'm keeping both of these. They are very nice. I also have a confession to make. I have another whole set of the Spectrum and KJH brushes that I bought at one point and they're still sitting in the cup and I have not opened them. I took them out of the roll, which I kind of regret now because I'm thinking about selling them, <sighs> which I will probably do. They'll probably go up on Mercari at some point. By the way, if I get my ish together, I will go ahead and link my Mercari down below. I might not have anything up yet, <laughs> but if you do want to follow me there, you can go ahead and do that. Um, any of these end up going up. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep both of these. They are very nice and really just perform well with both creams and powders. <sighs> okay, so if I'm keeping these, do I need this? But I like this one. All right, I cannot decide. So I'm just gonna keep those ones for now. We'll, we will see, we will see how I feel. At some point I might have to come back. Oh my gosh, look at this, I found another one. <laughs> found another angled one. This again is another Moda brush. Uh, it's it's nice quality, but it's not a need for me. And so I will go ahead and pass that along, especially if there's someone who likes a bigger handle, like if that's more comfortable, I think that this could be nice for someone. Okay, another random brush that every time I pick it up, I'm like, this is just a, it's a nice shape, but it's just not one that I reach for very much. This is the Fenty Beauty highlight brush. <sighs> I don't think I use this for highlight. That does not look like highlight. I feel like I use this for bronzer or maybe for a blush. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this around. I need to use it more to decide. It's not like an overly favorite, but I do feel like it does have a really nice contour to it. I just need to decide if, you know, it's super purposeful. So we will keep that. I'm also gonna keep the Refer 4 brush. I don't really have that many face brushes from Refer, and this is a really nice brush. Obviously it is, uh, not synthetic, so it'll be great for products where I feel like I need to use a real hairbrush. Okay, this isn't so bad. I'm feeling pretty good about this. This was almost half of this size of brush. That's that's not bad. I'm feeling good about that. Okay, I'm a fool. As I was coming through here, I found two more of these tapered highlighter brush from Luxie, but these are in the pro shape. The bristle might be a little bit different too. And so I pulled out the other two that I said I was gonna keep. And I also found one more. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> I remember I got a huge set in BoxyCharm and then 
I either got a set from the pop-up, I know that I went onto the Luxie site and ordered the pro set at one point. So ridiculous, so ridiculous. So these other ones are the powder brush. I have two of these. Oh no, this is a blusher, this is a powder. Um, I think I'm gonna keep these. I think I'm gonna keep the pro ones and I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm sort of tempted to keep this one because it is, maybe it's just not as splayed out, but it does seem a little bit smaller and I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of want to keep that. But do I need to do that? No, no, I do not. <sighs> okay, let's set this one to the side. I kind of want to keep just the one, but I'm going to definitely get rid of these two. So we'll set these to the side. Obviously those will need to be washed. So then here we have three of these duo fiber powder brushes, three. Do I need three? Absolutely not. Especially since I have a couple, I have one here from KJH and Spectrum. I do really like these for blush. And I tell you what, these are really nice for a blush where you feel like you want something that you can really blur out. All right, I am going to keep two for now and I'm gonna keep the one that's a little bit stained and then get rid of one of them. So we're gonna set this one to the side. And then these two from KJH, we have the Duo Fiber 03 brush and then the 02 brush. Same shape, one is just a regular bristle cut and then this one is a Duo Fiber. So I'm definitely keeping both of these. I love, I really loved my KJH set. I mean, I love it. Mm, this is a lot of, this is a lot. You know what I could see myself doing though is having these ones for like powders specifically, and then do more of these for creams. Okay, this, it does sort of seem like a lot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that one tapered highlight. I'm gonna set it up there. We'll see as we get through some of these other smaller shapes. If I'm like, Kelly, you really don't need that. So these we're keeping. I mean, obviously I, I know that I really don't, but <laughs> do I want to? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so now getting into some of these flatter shapes. Like I mentioned, these are not usually a shape that I really use a lot. This is the BK Beauty 113. Again, this is a shape that I really don't use a lot, but I will probably keep it around more so for comparison um, if the brand does come out with more brushes. So I'm gonna set that one over here. It's just sort of part of doing what I do here. And then here we have the N17 from the Nikki LaRose set with the brand. This is a really nice multitasker. And I do like that you have the one side that you know is best for creams, the one that is best for powder, but certainly you could use either or. This is a brush that like, I am liking, it's not like an, oh my God, I need another one, but I will definitely use it. I did buy this set myself, by the way. So while I am on this Duo Fiber, I have this MAC. Uh, this was a limited edition. This is the 125 SE. So again, it's another Duo Fiber, but the thing about it is this is so, so big and I really do like a smaller brush. So I am gonna be getting rid of this one. Where's my get rid of pile over here? All right, I will. you will have to pry these out of my cold dead hands. <laughs> I will never get rid of these. These are the airbrush from Wayne Goss. This is what I use to powder my under eye almost every single day. I love these. I hope that he brings them back in his new reiteration of his brushes. Uh, this one here is the, I think it was maybe called the holiday brush. I don't even know. This one is a lovely brush, a good multitasker. Uh, I love this one as well. So that's definitely not going anywhere. So these two brushes from Wayne, these are the O2 brushes. It's not my favorite just because it is a more dense brush, but it does allow for a lot of control. So this is really nice when I'm wanting a specific placement of a product. It works great for contour, for bronzer, for powder of any type. Uh, I don't think that I'd necessarily use these for creams, but I specifically usually use them for powder. So I'm gonna keep these around. Uh, these I got a long time ago, long time ago. So I'm gonna keep these around. Uh, it's just not a shape that I steer towards a lot anymore, but they are beautiful. I mean still so, so soft. Obviously I really love Wayne's brushes and I do get a lot of use out of them. Even these ones, even though it's not a shape that I use a lot anymore, I always know that they will perform beautifully if they are needed. Okay, uh, the Refer 05 brush, gonna keep this one around. Uh, it's just a nice like wash of blush or bronzer for me. The one thing that I do really like about this is it has some really great pickup because it is a natural fiber brush. And since I don't have a lot of bigger natural fiber brushes, yes, this is quote unquote bigger to me. It's nice when I'm looking for something to use in either a tightly pressed product or something that just doesn't pick up really well, a gelée or something like that. So keeping this one around. Again, 
another brush that I absolutely love, the BK Beauty 111. I did not expect to like this brush as much as I do, but for me, this is that big bronzer brush. Like some people want, you know, what was it? The Tom Ford brush that's like as big as my palm. That's not great for me because I just like all the control, but this is sort of that for me. It has enough density that I can really buff something into the skin, but I can also, you know, kind of blur it out around the edges. I just love this one so much. So very happy with that one. The 107 is a brush that it's like a good multitasker for me. This is really great for any type of powder, whether it is a bronzer, a quick wash of blush. If I want to use this to like set my entire face, it's easy enough to use. So it's just like a good multitasking brush that I know can get a lot of different jobs done. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. Uh, this brush, sorry, it's dirty, but I have been using it for foundation. This is the Unit 304. I have been so impressed with the unit brushes. Like I, I just can't even tell you how soft they are. I really like these. The orange isn't my 100% aesthetic. I did see that I believe they have some black handled ones now too. I mean, it's fun. It's just not as like classy chic as I usually like my brush experience to be, but I really love this brush. So I'm keeping that one. Oh, speaking of unit brushes, I did want to pull this one out. So the 305 brush is honestly a pretty darn good I don't want to say dupe, but sort of like mimicking brush to the airbrush. Uh, very similar shape. You know, the airbrush is a little bit more tapered, but pretty similar and I do really like it. So again, I use this to sweep like loose or pressed powder under my eye. It could give you a beautiful wash of blush or highlight something like that. A great multitasker as well. Really enjoying that one. I have these other three little random flat-ish brushes. This Moda brush, honestly, this has gotten me through a lot. This has been a very nice brush, but I am going to pass it along to someone. This brush uh, I've used for pinpoint highlighter. I've used it for any time that I want a small area covered. I mean, you could absolutely use this for touch-up powder as well. So it has been a good brush. It's just time to move along. Uh, the setting brush from Real Techniques, obviously you can see it's sort of a similar shape, very much more um, firm than the other two that I showed you from both Wayne and uh, Units. But this brush, again, it has that thing, <laughs> has that thing, and it's more, you know, stiff. So I do not need that brush. This is not necessarily like either of those brushes. This is the N16 from BK and Nikki again. This, I would say, because it is a little bit like flocked at the edge, it has a little bit of duo fiber. It's sort of an interesting, like, could be concealer, honestly could be for eye primer or like an all over wash on the lid. You could use it for powder, you could use it for creams. It's sort of an interesting, I don't know, I'm, I'm still playing with this one a little bit. I don't love it as much for under the eye because of the duo fiber, it has a little bit of a softer edge, so I just can't get quite as sharp, but it is nice because it does blur out the edges so I guess it kind of depends on what you're looking for. I still need to play with this one, but it is a nice shape and I like that it's a smaller brush. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Okay, I knew as we're getting into slightly smaller brushes, I'm gonna have a harder time. <laughs> so who knows, maybe at the end we'll be like, actually, I'm gonna get rid of this too. We'll see. Again, I've got that Luxie one sitting up in a side. I'm gonna put these in the for sure no pile and set these to the side as well. All right, a few more angled brushes that I just wanted to talk about really quickly. Uh, the Wayne Goss F1 brush, this is the angled cheek brush. These aren't like angled like those ones that I was showing before. These are definitely a different shape. So obviously I just bought this one. I am not getting rid of this. This is a beautiful brush. Uh, I also here have the Larafe F25 brush. They just sent me their new hot pink set. This is such a nice brush as well. Similar shape, but a little bit different. I, I just love this kind of a shape. I also have this uh, brush from Glam Shop, which is kind of random, but this I think is a really nice little one for blush or highlight. So I'm gonna keep this one around. You know, it's, it's not like, oh my gosh, the quality of this is amazing, but the size of it I think is what kind of makes it unique in my collection here. So I did just wanna share those ones, uh, keeping those, you know, again, it's like one of those things where I was like, whoops, maybe I should have showed that before. Uh, a couple more that I'm just gonna go into really quickly are these little like kind of rounded tapered shapes. I think I might've shown some similar to this before. So we have the Larafe F11 brush. This is a really nice brush that you can use for just about anything. You could use it to contour. You could use it for strategic blush placement and also for highlight. The brush that I think is most similar to this one is 
sort of like the tapered highlight brush from Sigma. I've had this one a long time. It's been through the ringer. It's, it's kind of beaten up and it's just not one that I use quite as much anymore. This one, uh, they're, they're pretty similarly packed, but I think I'm actually going to get rid of that one. I also have another unit brush. This is the 306. Absolutely love this. Again, I've been so impressed with these brushes. So I'm going to be keeping this one. Uh, these two tapered edit brushes from Wayne Goss, the three and the four. I think actually I usually keep my four brush in my eye brushes because I think that this is a really easy one to just like whisk a one and done on. And then also the 03 brush. <sighs> Again, this is just not a brush that I reach for all the time, but I think I'm gonna keep it around now that I am paring down my brushes. I wonder if I'm just gonna see some of the ones I have a little bit more. I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna set it up to the top. You know, some of the other brushes from the edit collection, at some point I'm wondering if I just wanna pass along. Like this brush here is one that I do use, but it's not one that I necessarily need. I actually really like the new shapes from Wayne that are sort of similar to this, but a little bit different. So I might end up getting rid of this one. I just, I just can't decide. So I'm gonna pop both of these up for now, I might decide to get rid of these, but now that I've pared down my collection so much, maybe it's just something that I'll see more and use more. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Now that I have those out of the way, we might as well start at the bottom and work our way up. Uh, this little fan brush, it's a Wayne Goss brush. It's a very nice brush. I just don't use a fan brush, so I am probably gonna pass this one along. Maybe I'll end up doing like a little Wayne Goss random bundle on Mercari or something. Again, this Moda brush. This is actually a really, really lovely brush. It's just, it's just not something I need. It's very, very loose. And this is great for products that are super intensely pigmented or something that's really shimmery and you don't want as much impact from it, but it's just not something I need. I can use some of these others instead. So I'm gonna pass this one along. And then here I have two of the Wayne Goss 14 brush. These are absolutely lovely. Again, beautiful for a wash of blusher, especially if it's a highly pigmented product or something that I wanna have the control to be able to build up. Absolutely keeping. In line with that, this is Wayne's new F5 brush. Similar, uh, it's a little bit more tapered and a little smaller than the 14 brush, keeping all of these. This is a newer brush to me. Uh, this is the F21 brush from Lara Fay. It's a really nice brush. It's kind of a step up from this in, you know, it's probably gonna pick up a little bit more product. It'll get a little bit more onto the skin, but it's still so like airbrush blurry that it's it's a lovely one. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. Okay, let's talk about these up here. So right away, let's start with these like paddle type. Uh, this is a crown brush. This was something I got in BoxyCharm. I loved it when I got it actually. This I would use with my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue because it just really like buffed it into the skin. I could just have this very natural look with it. But the thing about this is it is a very kind of like floppy head. So I would always end up almost holding it right here anyway. And it's not something that I need anymore. I also have one of the Artiste brushes. Oh, I got a full Artiste set. I got a really good deal on it on the brand website, but this is the only brush that I have left from that collection because it's not something that I was reaching for a lot. Uh, but I'm gonna keep this one. because. This brush is really high quality, I will say, because it is so densely packed. It is a pain in the booty to clean out really well, <laughs> but it's worth it. Again, this is the Oval 7 uh, from the Elite Collection. I do really like this brush, but if I'm gonna keep one of the two, I'm gonna keep the Artiste and get rid of the crown. Nice brush, I just wish that it wasn't quite so bendy there. Okay, so this is a newer brush to my collection. This is the F27. This I have used for a wash of foundation or tinted moisturizer. It's a nice brush. Is it a shape that I would necessarily like need in my life all the time? No, but I will be very happy to have it. And again, it's one that I can grab for like quick and easy makeup days. Along the same lines is the F10. This is one that I could use for foundation. I could also use this to wash on cream blush or bronzer if I'm just looking for like a really quick, easy glow moment. These Lara Fay brushes are really high quality. I've had my blue set for quite a while now, so very happy with these. This, this is the brush that I would love to have more of at some point, not that I think that I need any, but uh, the F09 brush. This is probably right now one of my favorite foundation brushes. It is a bit smaller than the BK Beauty 101. Actually, let me pull that out just so we can see here. So this, as you can see, it's just a tiny bit. I'm hoping you can see that there. It's just a tiny bit smaller. And I do find that the bristles on this just don't flop 
they just don't flop quite as much. So that's why this one has sort of replaced my love for the BK Beauty 101. It's still a nice brush. It's still a nice brush. This one I just prefer. Now here's the thing about this brush. This is the 101 from the Angie Hot and Flashy Travel Set. But can, can we see the difference here? Like this looks very different. Now, obviously this is a bit newer, but it's just, it's a little bit more densely packed. It is a little bit more fluffy and not quite as smooshy. So I'm tempted to keep this one. I am tempted to keep this one, but it is a shorter one. And I'm kind of like, would I rather just go ahead and like pass this one along? But that being said, this would be kind of nice to just have in my travel kit as well. So I think since I'm getting rid of this one, I'm going to keep this one for a while. At some point I might be like, short handles be gone and get rid of it, but I'm going to keep it for right now. All right, this brush, I love this brush. And right now you cannot get these. I've talked about this so much. This is the F15. Uh, I'm not sure if the brand is gonna be bringing these back or not, but this brush is just so nice. You can use it for foundation. It is gonna be a bit more densely packed than both the 101 and even the F09, but I use this all the time for like a contour, a bronzer. This really just gets into the hollows of the cheeks really nicely. Uh, I've also used it to pat on cream blushes. I don't need any more clearly because I have three now. I really do reach for this brush almost anytime I'm using a cream contour or a bronzer. This is what I grab. All right, BK Beauty 109. This is definitely one that I really enjoy. I use this for all over complexion. I also use it for cream blush. I've used it for a cream bronzer, cream contour. It is a nice multitasker. And if you enjoy a small face brush, this is a great one to have to be able to do all of the things. I have definitely taken this to travel and planned, like if I'm just gonna be gone for one night, I can use it for my foundation and then I can use it for my blush and my bronzer and then just like be, have that one brush for all three things and pack really minimally. And I don't have to worry obviously because the next day I can take it home and wash it because it'll have all the colors on it, but it's definitely been a multitasker for me. So keeping that one as well. All right, here we go. <laughs> I love me some small brushes. <laughs> okay, so right away, let's start off with the Angie Hot and Flashy 506 brush. I have three of the full size and the smaller one that came with the travel set. Uh, I probably don't, I just, I don't need all four. I don't need four. <laughs> and honestly, I think I was gifted one of these and I bought two of them. So I think I'm gonna set this travel one to the side for now because I probably don't need it. A somewhat similar shape is the 36 brush from Refer. I do have two of these. One is completely covered in concealer right now. I won't put you through that trauma. <laughs> So what I actually got this brush, I think that they actually say that it is an eye brush, but I definitely got it to use almost in the same way. I mean, they are very similar. So I use this for concealer, but could you use this as a very easy wash for a cream eyeshadow or even a powder eyeshadow? Absolutely 100%. I will be keeping both of these because I just got them in the recent refer sale. And then this one is part of that new Lara Face set. This is the F17. I think that they also say that this is an eye brush. I really, I don't see myself using this as an eye brush. If you are someone who enjoys just a very quick wash of color, I could absolutely see that being great, but I have been using this as a concealer brush as well, mostly like an under eye concealer brush, but it has been working really nicely and I will be keeping this one. Spoiler alert, I'm probably gonna be keeping most of these. Okay, one brush that I know that I'm gonna get rid of, this is the Cheek Highlighter brush. This one's from Makeup Geek. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know if I got this for highlighter. I don't remember using it for highlighter much, but it is great for cream products that I want to put on in a pinpoint way. It's just not one, I don't know, it's just not one that I use a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. These are two brushes from Sydney Grace. I don't know which ones these are because again, these are not labeled. I think I got both of these in mystery bags at some point. Uh, I do really like these. They are a similar kind of vibe, different shape, but a similar kind of vibe to these Luxie brushes. I do really like these Luxie brushes. They work pretty well. Again, I mostly use these for like contour. You could use them for a pinpoint highlight as well. Now, the true question is, since I have two of these, do I need two of these? They are different. This is more dense. This is a little bit more loose. You know what, for now I am gonna keep both of these. I love a good small brush and we'll see. We'll see if these end up not getting reached for as much, 
but I do, I do really enjoy them. So I'm going to keep them for now. Okay. So another brush that I will be keeping is the Nicola Rose N14. I could absolutely see actually getting another one of these. I really do like this because it is more tapered. Honestly, if I had another one of these, I would probably get rid of these. I like this shape better because you can really lay down that product very precisely and then use more pressure to sort of like blend out that product. Um, since I just said that, should I get rid of these? Should I get rid of one of them? Should I just get rid of them? Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of them. I just said that I like this one better, so I'm gonna do that. And I can imagine at some point that BK Beauty will be doing these individually, hopefully, and I do really like this. Okay, I feel like I'm making some tough choices here. I've been doing it. <laughs> some things that aren't gonna be a tough choice, well, I guess kind of. Here's the thing. This is like one of the few Morphe brushes that I have in my collection. This is the M510. No, I'm not going to lie. This is a very nice highlighter brush. There's something about this, especially because, you know, you can get a nice soft wash of color, but there's something about the texture of the bristles that it does make it pretty easy to pick up something in a pan that is more of like a gel formula or something like that. So it is a nice brush. That being said, I don't need three of them. I probably don't need three of them. I think what I will do is maybe keep one or two and then just use them until they are just dead and then pitch them out. And in the meantime, I have a couple other shapes that I'm using to see if I like them as much. So that's probably gonna be what I'll do is I will keep one or two of these and then just try to use them until they're dead. So, and investigate further into other brush shapes. Okay, so some of those other brush shapes. This again is that random drugstore, whatever. Uh, this one is just, it's so soft though that it doesn't pick up product quite as well as the Morphe one does, but it is a nice one, but it's also just not, it's just not something that I need. Now the two, this is actually a new to me brush because this was a gift from a friend. This is the Rare Beauty, mm, the Rare Beauty brush. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't have a name on it. Uh, and I, don't have the box anymore that's already gone into the recycling but it is a very pretty brush uh so i am i think i've only used this once maybe so i am definitely excited to have this one similar shape right and that's exactly why my friend also enjoys this brush but doesn't enjoy morphe we are on that same team so similar shape so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep that one obviously the other one that's sort of is similar ish this one's a little bit more like dense as far as how many bristles it has. This is the Spectrum and KJH 08 brush and this one I will be keeping as well. So that is that. That is why I almost see and that's why I almost wonder no see this is just it's more tightly packed. It's not the same kind of brush. It's not the same kind of brush. Actually this would almost be more similar and I could just use the tip of it. Hmm, maybe a reason to keep this one. Okay, so that is it for face brushes. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go and wipe down my little containers here and try to get everything organized. I'm gonna try to get everything organized. If I feel like I still have too many brushes, I might call the herd even more, so I will be right back with an update. All right, while we were away, here's what happened. I was washing these little units and then I realized, oops, I need to give them time to dry. But the nice thing about that is I just went and did my entire eye brush declutter, which I think was really good because as I got going, I was like, mm, you know what, maybe I don't need this, maybe I don't need that. And then it just really made me like think about what I had. So I have decided to get rid of this last Luxie brush because I clearly have enough. This makes me happy. Having space in this thing makes me happy. I can't say I have as much space in my eye brush cups, but is anybody surprised about that? Probably not. I have decided, by the way, I did find my whole Sonia G Kayaki mini set. And then also I am going to part ways with my Wayne Goss edit collection. I cannot believe that, but I'm just like, you know, I just want it to go to a home that maybe doesn't have as much brushes and will get more love. So I am going to end up posting these soon. And I'm excited about what I have here. Like I said, I, I like the space. So what I'm going to do, these will sit exactly like this, just over to the side. And I have my foundation brushes, my concealer slash small brushes. And then I basically have like brushes that I'm gonna use mostly for cheek cream products. I've got some like smaller brushes and powder brushes. Sorry, scooch forward a little bit so you could see what I was talking about here. So here I have some face powder brushes in these, uh, actually all three of these. And then I have doubles. So like 
you know, obviously I had several of the A506. I really only need to be using one of those at a time. So I've got it up here. And then at the very end, I have my big daddy powder brushes and then the brushes that I just don't use that often, but still wanna keep on hand because that will be furthest away from me as I'm trying to grab things. So I thought that that totally made sense. I cannot believe I got everything into these. By the way, uh, if you, <laughs> If you are part of the OG YouTube squad, remember when Zara was a big thing? I got this Coffee Break with Danny little set a long, long time ago. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. By the way, I'm sure I made a note of it at some point, but I just realized in how long this video was that I'm going to split up the videos between the face and the eye brushes. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see the eye brush declutter because that will be coming really soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for today's declutter. I feel great. I hope this is inspirational for you, whether it's just to organize what you have, go through what you have and decide what you wanna keep, you know, whatever it might be. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you really soon.